Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Elements, you can use the Shape Tool button to create various vector shapes in a shape layer within an image. When you create a vector shape in an image, it will be created within its own shape layer by default. The shape is then filled with the currently selected foreground color, although you can specify and change the fill as needed. You can also use the settings within the tool options bar when you have a shape tool selected to draw multiple shapes on a single layer, adding to the original shape drawn by simply clicking the Add to Shape Area button before drawing a second shape within the same selected shape layer. You can use the other buttons within this same section of the tool options bar to determine how overlapping shapes within a shape layer should interact with one another. To create a new shape layer with a shape within it, click the shape tool within the toolbox and then select which shape you would like to draw from the options that appear at the left end in the tool options bar. To ensure that the shape is placed into its own shape layer, be sure that the Create New Shape Layer button at the right side of the Tool Options bar is selected, which it should be by default. Before you draw your new shape, however, let's look at some of the options that you can set for the shape within the Tool Options bar. Depending on the specific shape tool that you have selected, then in the next section of the Tool Options bar, you will see any color, style, and special tool options for the currently selected shape tool. For example, you can use the radius setting to determine the rounding of corners if you selected the rounded rectangle shape tool. Alternately, if you had selected the custom shape tool button within the Tool Options bar, then in the next section, you would see a drop-down that allows you to pick the type of custom shape to draw within this area. The color box within this area, when clicked, launches the Swatches panel where you can select a foreground color for the shape by double-clicking your desired color cube choice. You can use the Style drop-down in this area to apply a layer style to the shape layer. In the next section, you will often see the size settings for the shape. Many times you will see a drop-down menu here along with a height and width text box. You can use the drop-down to select the type of shape size to draw. The default setting of unconstrained will allow you to draw a shape of the size you desire by clicking and dragging within the image. However, you can choose other choices from the drop-down menu such as fixed size, for example, and then enter the exact width and height of the shape in pixels into the W and H text boxes. You can then just click into the image to make a shape of those exact dimensions. In the last section, you choose what type of interaction you want your shape to have with the shape layer. You can select New Shape Layer to have the shape that you draw in the image appear within a new layer. You can click the Add to Shape Area button to add the shape that you draw to the shape layer that is currently selected in the Layers panel. If you choose the Subtract from Shape Area button, the shape will be removed from any existing shape within the currently selected shape layer in the Layers panel. If you choose the Intersect Shape Areas choice, the shape that you draw will only display the foreground color in areas where the shape that you draw intersects other previously drawn shapes in the associated shape layer. If you click the Exclude Overlapping Shape Areas button, the foreground color will display in the non-overlapping areas of shapes that overlap within the selected shapes layer. After making your choice, you can just click and drag to create a new shape.
If you had selected the New Shape Layer option, then the shape that you draw will appear as a new shape layer. Otherwise, it will interact with the currently selected layer in the Layers panel in the way prescribed by the options that you set within the Tool Options bar. Note that if you have a layer selected, you can click the Simplify button and elements will rasterize the selected shape layer into editable pixels. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.